What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Finally I'm sitting in front of a TV again. Long time not sitting in front of a TV playing games and recording at the same time. It's been a while, I know. I think it was last year that I recorded the last Need for Speed episode um, since it didn't really take any interest and I was not really having the time for it. And, and I was working on the car all the time, which I'm doing at this moment it was something going up and down always the BMW was making a lot of problems and it still is making a lot of problems I cannot upload anything because I don't really have the time to cut all the videos together and studying at the same time and working on the BMW at the same time so you're gonna see some videos about that but today we are doing some dangerous driving this is a game by the developers of Burnout I believe I'm not really sure but as far as I know, the developers of this game are just 10 people and they were creating the old Burnout titles such as I think the original first two, Burnout 1 and 2 and Burnout 3 Takedown as well which was kind of EA already but yeah, Burnout 2 and Burnout 3 Takedowns were, Burnout 3 Takedown were the games that I played as a kid a lot and they were just amazing and as far as this menu shows it really gives the vibe and I saw some videos about the game already and I just wanted to play I know that there's been a lot of criticism about the game since it's not a big deal it didn't have the biggest budget I think so yeah that's why we start with this game it's just developed by 10 people so I think it's that's okay for 10 people that's totally fine look at this menu it really does look like burnout 2 it just is the exact same design this is just that is so amazing. I don't think that we have online features in this game. It says we have a network function, but I don't think that there's going to be a multiplayer, which is kind of sad since uh, Burnout 3 and Burnout 2 were all about, yeah, beating the career, of course, but also going against your friends in split screen. And today's consoles don't provide split screen anymore. I mean, at least not too many games do. So I. Th yeah, I expect this game to be a little more about playing with your friends even in split screen or even in split screen for four people which we have in Call of Duty from day one so that could have been a thing here but at least the network function with any I don't know eight players or just, just uh, four players will be enough to go against in this game but maybe there's coming some updates who knows people tend to bring out stuff a little late especially game developers so let's go for a dangerous driving tour we go for the sedan class since everything else is not unlocked yet this is so much burnout 3 and burnout 2 look at this it's not burnout 2 it doesn't even actually look like burnout 2 i was mistaken it would just look like burnout 3 it just has the same menu design it's just basically the same gives you a very good vibe i think they know that burnout 3 takedown was one of the best burnouts um, maybe the best burnout to ever come out. Um, Paradise was good, don't get me wrong, but Paradise didn't have the same vibe. It was just a totally different experience. So, let's go for the sedan class. I'm missing the compact class. We had the compact class in Burnout 3. That was pretty amazing since we had just these little civics and golf kind of things going against each other. Being limited to 250 kilometers an hour. It's just nice. Look at these tracks. Oh my god. Surf Side Island. You must be kidding. That's just so much an analogy to Burnout 2 right there. To Big Surf Island. Let's go for the Twin Fairy Lakes because anything else isn't unlocked. I'm very hyped for this game. I think it will give me a good time. I'm not going to make a complete let's play out of it except... Um, Unless you wanted me to, but I don't think that you want to see everything about the game. I just I think that most of you just want to see how I feel about it since I've played the original Burnout 2 and Burnout 3, which have been like the best burnouts. Um, Burnout 1 was good as well, but not as good as the other two that I just mentioned. So let's go for the sedan. I do you really have just Oh, I cannot see them, but I I think that's just one car for each class, which is modified. The game, I think, just has one car each class. 
which is a shame if it really is like that. But it's okay, since it, we have to keep in mind there's just 10 people behind this game. What kind of sedan is that? Let's just guess. I have no idea. Some kind of Holden, anything like that? I don't know. Five speed automatic transmission and the front wheel drive, but 480 horsepower. So it sounds like nothing that you would drive in real life. But top speed 197. That's not too bad. For a sedan, for the lowest class in the game, that's not too bad. I know that the handling is going to be much like the old game, so I expect it to be a, little, a lot arcadey, but. Um, yeah. We'll see. I'm hyped, let's go. Where's the music? Where's the music? Jesus. Oh my god! Uh, what? Okay. Um... That. Should I should I take a look at the controls? Oh my uh Okay, I expected this game to be a little arcadey, but that he's like driving RC toy cars in real life. If you've ever done that, you'll know what I'm talking about. Steering is nothing that you can control in an RC car. Just like here. What is that? I think you get, I think you get used to it. But I mean, how do you? All right, just let me take a little look into. Oh, I cannot look into the controls while the game's on. Okay. Seriously, where's the music? I don't like it. It needs music. If you've ever played Burnout 3 Takedown or Burnout 2, you'll know what I'm talking about. Burnout 2 had it had its its very own soundtrack, and that soundtrack was just dope. And we even had these soundtracks in Burnout Paradise as a little reminder of the old, good old days. Um, there's several songs that you will remember, which I'm not going to play in this video because I'm going to do the copyright reason. But and Burnout 3 had songs that I still listen to today. I mean, imagine that game is so old and I still listen to those songs when I'm driving my car. It, it's just been simply amazing. What the hell was that? <laughs> the soundtrack was just amazing. And having no soundtrack at all in this game is really sad. It just misses out on the vibe. I, I need that guitar music. And that guy that has that little crash radio or whatever the that was called, I, I don't remember. But that was nice, having that little radio kind of thing. Crash FM, I think it was. And there was this guy always, I mean, I, I played it in German back in those days, but there was this guy always talking about little race going down here, little crash going down there, a lot of, a lot of cars getting smashed and explosions, and he was so happy about it. <laughs> it was just nice, a nice little feature, but that made the game what it was. And this here, I don't really feel the vibe. It's just, it looks the same. And I didn't even finish in first place. But it looks the same. The menu does look the same. And the title music is kind of giving me the vibe. But that right here. I don't know. Music level. It says Spotify authorized. Well, hell yeah! <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to get some big issues with copyright right there if I do that, but... You can 
actually listen to your own music so you can make yourself a burnout playlist or you just take a burnout playlist that is existent in Spotify and just listen to your own burnout music how good is that I think that's just the best thing that I could have done but I'm not sure if there's burnout to music on Spotify so controls we have danger time which is R1 I have no idea what that is Accelerate break, okay, music, previous next track, if you're listening to your own music, probably. Steer, siren, boost, look back, toggle siren, okay. Okay, so actually it's pretty basic, everything's pretty easy, pretty basic. Dangerous driving tour, we just have dangerous driving tour. I hope that they will do some updates about the game, since it's just, I think, it's something they've put a lot of effort into. And would be a shame if they just leave it like that with no own soundtrack just one car per class as far as I know no multiplayer no split screen mode which is I think easily done if you just make an update just split the screen for heaven's sakes give them people something they can play with their friends I mean I paid around 38 euros for that copy which I'm totally fine on spending um, putting my money into a 10 people development team so I don't really care about the money in that place but I wish there could be something more for the money since I really miss on yeah soundtrack and split screen car variety there's no soundtrack you really have to listen to your own music what is danger time ah I got it I can yeah, control my car when I crash. That's pretty much burnout right here, guys. That is simply that is the new burnout. Unofficially the new burnout. Three, I guess. It's it's I think it's more like burnout three than burnout two. Yeah. The looks at the style of the menu. And that you can control your car when you crash. That's stuff like that. And takedown in cars. This is stuff that was introduced in Burnout 3 Takedown as the name itself says already. So I think this here is more like the new Burnout 3. <laughs> but I think Burnout 3 had so much better handling. What the hell is this? This is basically unplayable. I think. I don't know, it is, is an engine uh, with copyright, can you just use an old game engine, I'm not talking about the engine of the graphics, I'm talking about this, the steering system, I don't know, controls, how do you call that, I think that's still part of an engine, I'm not sure, um, is that, do you need the, the, the rights? To use that, I'm not sure. Because if not, they could have just used the old Burnout 3 kind of type of handling. That was just simply amazing. So, new event unlocked Sedan Class Shakedown. Sedan Class Shakedown. Sedan Class Road Rage. We're going to have some Road Rage, of course. That was just simply my most favorite mode. So, return to event of select. Road Rage was the shit back in the days i remember playing road rage and setting up little records for myself i don't know i think my best shot was 70 or 80 do you call that kills not sure i don't think so but i think i'm going for the road rage in eagle ridge mountain And that car is simply, and that thing is a Honda, but it says Honda. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go for the Paul Walker paint. That is an Audi R8. Or is it? Is it like a Hypersport? It's something in between. Well, that's Hyperclass. Have you driven to Hypercar? No, I haven't. Why do they not have the copyrights for these legendary burnout cars. I think EA just stole everything from them. Okay, three takedowns. I don't have any boosts. 
So how am I supposed to catch up with this guy? There you go. That's not somebody I had to take down. I really am missing these little cameras. Is somebody coming? No. I'm missing on these cameras when you take somebody down. Burnout 3 had these awesome little takedown cameras. Or like that. Yes, flatten the metal. I just made it last three seconds to flatten the metal. Am I such a pro? I am. <laughs> okay, guys. Is, it, is this game worth 38 bucks? No. Sadly not. It's it really gives you the vibe of being part of the new burnout. And it really is the new burnout in its core. But it misses on so many things. It misses its own soundtrack. It's, I think it's the most yeah. The major point as well as having a split screen mode would be very nice and or or a network mode where you go against people online which is not too much an effort to take I I'm not sure but I cannot imagine being too much a task to have a little split-screen mode as an update for example okay guys I hope you still enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed the review of this game so once again if you're interested in something that is more like burnout but not really a complete game then just go ahead and um, and support the little team of 10 people behind this game because I really think it's still a nice thing that they don't that they've done this and it's still not a nice thing to play if you're like the little vibe of having a new burnout but in all it's something that I feel like is not really completed it's not done the game's not really ready to be on the market but I still enjoy my time with it. I will still listen to my own burnout music over Spotify and play the game and have my little smiles when I crash into walls. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new, and check out my little vlog videos. Uh, yeah, I'm see you in the next video then.